Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about peppers. I am, it's time for me to repot my pepper seedlings that I have started a long time ago, back in January, maybe a little too early. And I also want to talk to you about my overwintered pepper plants that I get so many questions about it. So first let's start with repotting these peppers and I can talk as we go. I have started this. In January I was told that peppers you need a long time for them to grow it was my first time actually um, growing them from seed and I decided to go a little early now I don't feel that they are growing that much anymore they have kind of stayed this size um, for a while even though I have repotted them and given them individual cells to it so I'm thinking that I want to give them some new soil and see if that will help with the growth hopefully I don't I haven't stunted them from actually starting them too early but I'm learning as I go too this is our experiment I have already repotted some so you see how it will look like this is the spot size that I'm going to use to give them some more space I'm going to make sure also to link everything that I use on this video on the down below so everybody can see in the description down below so you can access to you can get anything you want if you need to uh, i am using potting soil for this i always like to put it in a container and pre-moisten my potting soil before i add it to the pot so i don't like just dump the potting soil into this because the one that i have is outside and it's really dry so i always give them i always yeah, put them in this container and I put and give them a little bit of water and that will be in the consistency See they won't fall right away. So it's not completely wet. But they're just like slightly dumped that will help the roots though to establish a little better. So I like to try to Make sure I do that and I'm working on the floor today. I don't really have a lot of space If you're new here, uh, my name is Mariana and I live in New York City I've or, uh, urban gardening here in Queens in a very busy avenue so if there's some street noise I apologize for that but this is my space I have this patch of garden here that I'm able to grow some food and I have started everything from seed this year and I'm learning as I go with this experiment so first I am going to put my fill my pot of soil into the container I don't like to fill all the way up because these cells already have some soil on them so I'm just going to put them all about like this and leave it a little bit loose with slightly a little uh, space in the middle and I'm going to do this for all three of them okay so fill them up very loose the soil I'm not really pressing and I am going to transfer actually a Brazilian pepper. I'm also from Brazil, it's called Piquinho. I grew up eating it and I absolutely love it. It's actually a mild pepper. So I, even as a kid, I ate it with my meals. It's, in my family at least, we usually pickle it. We'll preserve it with some vinegar and salt. And then we'll add to our meals for garnish or just for a little nice touch at the end. So the roots don't look too bad. It's a little wet because I watered this morning. So they're still not root bound, so I'm not really sure why this guy is not growing very much, but I'm still going to give it a try and give them a little bit more space and new soil. So these peppers, and then going back to this, I was able to find those seeds at Baker Creeks, and just became peppers, and I'm very, very, very excited to have a chance to grow them here. I am even considering and maybe starting them again because I'm now worried that they're not they're stunted and they won't grow very much and I was so excited to grow these peppers from seed that I might actually even though it's a little late try to do it again just so I'm sure that I have this uh, in my garden because I can't buy this in the farm market or anything. There's a train going by over here behind us. So the process is actually very simple, but there's one important thing with peppers. They do not like to be repotted deep like most tomatoes do. So tomatoes have little fur. Actually, I have a tomato here. I'm not sure we use the difference of the stem. 
you see how tomatoes I'd say that in a previous video that I did but see how tomatoes have all you can see these little furry things along the stem and look like hairs so this actually if it touches the soil it will become a root and will root down so when I you repotting tomatoes for instance it's recommended they say it's like tomato likes to be planted deep that you remove the bottom leaves and you actually plant the whole stem down and that makes for a stronger plant because they like they will create more roots now even though tomatoes and peppers are in the same family the peppers do not like that they don't have that ability to send new roots off the stem as tomatoes do so if you bury it too deep there's a chance that the stem could rot so you wanted to make sure that when you are repotting your peppers or if you are in a much warmer climate than me and you can already put them outside make sure and transplant them to your garden to your raised beds just make sure that when you putting them in you are expecting that and you are only putting soil all the way up to where the stem is these are very little peppers compared to my other ones so it's a little hard to see but let me pull another one out so you can understand what I'm trying to show here this one is a Chinese five spice pepper I, this is actually an ornamental five spice Chinese five color pepper this is an ornamental when I grew last year and it was so so prolific and it's very pretty there's a lot of different colors and the peppers are really hot which I liked because it was I cooked with them I preserved them I made hot sauce with them they are different uh, they come in different color stages they start purple and then they start changing color all the way into red I personally waited until they got red before I cooked because I, first of all I thought they looked very beautiful in the plant in the different colors and I wanted to I think it's weird sometimes the color when you make hot sauce and you think the bubble pepper it turns into a weird ish thing so orange yellow and red are fine the stem here it's not buried to the soil as we would do with tomatoes it's really hard to see in the view hopefully you guys can see and this is up to whatever this part here this that's where the seedling was planted on its smaller cell so all of them have quite a space you can see that uh, they're not planted deep now there's another thing that i always get asked about for presuming i'm still learning as i go to is if i remove the top of the peppers when i'm planting them outside it is not time for me to do that yet but i did do that last year and for me personally it worked really well it uh the pepper is starting with a good example. Okay, this is an overwintered pepper, but you see how many shoots is sending all over the side here? It's because I, I did cut the top off this one. Once you cut the top, every little space in between leaves, you send it an uh, another set, another stem, and be another set of leaves. So it makes to a very sturdy, bushy plant. Instead, you should let it go, grow in a one stalk like this. It might get very top heavy in fall or you have to add some staking or cage to it i because i had success last year with topping them off i am going to continue to do that they are very small for me yet i was told that we should wait until they have about six to eight true leaves before we top them out some of these guys are korean peppers are much bigger than some other ones that i have so i might go ahead and top some off let me see if i can this one here looks like has more than eight leaves and then I'll simply just go up here and take a pinch off the top and that's it I can see I did that too and that should encourage all those little knots they are in between the leaves over here Let's see how we can see and those little thingies I guess they can look a little harder to shade here but all of those little thingies in between those little nods will become new stems there's little grow new growth in there they will grow and look like the shishiro pepper that I have over here you can see that so there's a lot more things going on there's a lot of growth on the side and that's why why because I pinched it off but this is was overwintered pepper, that's why I obviously um, 
That's why I say I pinched it off. Let me finish uh, some more bikini for me to transfer. I always press the bottom of my tray and flip it. So that will fall into my hand like this. And I will put it here to the soil level. And I will just lightly press so i'm not adding more soil on top sometimes i'll add just to the sides so it gets nice and even but i'm not i'm making sure i'm not covering this down this is a baby pepper so i'm going to continue to do that after but about overwintering the peppers basically what i did this one is kind of cool because you can see exactly how you know, i'll make another video about that later once it's time but just out of curiosity since we're in the pepper topic at the end of the year, last year, I repotted these peppers when it started getting cold and I put them in these little pots and I cut them off very, I pruned them very aggressively about like this. Now you can see there are new, there is new growth in this pepper. There's little things growing here, here, here and that's why because I'm trying to wake them up. So I pruned them very heavily, take out the leaves, it looks like just those little sticks and I left them in my first in my window, but then I started growing all the stuff inside there and didn't have space and I put them on my hallway. And impressively, they did well there. They even started, some of them started doing, sending some leaves. Now, I don't have any other natural light in my hallway of my apartment. It's just regular light from, the, from a bulb. But some of them even started sending all this new growth over here when it was still inside. It is still cold. For us to put the peppers out, you should wait until your nights are above, consistently above 50s, I believe that's about 10 Celsius. And then you can put them out. And now I am acclimating them. I am slowly hardening them off. So I'm bringing them outside little by little on the sun. And I'm letting them get a little sun so they start getting used to the environment of being outside again. Some of them do better than others. See, I did the same thing with both of these peppers and they both look very differently. So that's a cool thing about experimenting. I also have one here with a jalapeno that did not make it. This one here, try to transfer. It's all green. See how the stem is all brown? But I, it's pruned heavily like the first one I showed, but I don't think it's gonna, nothing's going to come out of that. So we'll see, it's still outside because some people told me if there's a little bit of green, it might even grow back up, but I'm not very hopeful. Hope I'm not that high. But this is also another pepper. And what I I do, I'm going to do with them, but I need to transfer these guys to a bigger pot too. And it's a lot of work, but I am I'm personally choosing to start hardening them off already and putting them out in sunny days like this and putting them back in for the night. So I do not like it big like oscillation of temperature it's really hot in the morning very cold at night it's really not a good environment for peppers so I like to put them back in before the cool nights the tropical um, plants so they prefer to have stable warmer temperatures and I if it's too much work for you what you can do you can just leave them inside where they are and wait just wait for when the nights are above 50s and things are not uh, the weather has been warm for a while and then you can start bringing them out. I want to do it a little bit earlier because I want to get through as soon as possible so I'm okay with the extra work. But that's it, those are my, there are now one mistake I made, I did not label them so I know there's a cayenne pepper, I had some cayenne peppers, some habaneros and jalapenos. No idea which one is which here, I can't, I won't really be able to tell until those start setting fruits but I'm okay with that. Lesson learned, they were to label more things. So next year when I open my peppers, I'll make sure that I put a label on them. I thought I was going to remember, but I did not spend those last year in November. But that's it. If you have any questions about anything that I said, please just leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.